Mutinas soldiers claimed to have overthrown Niger's democratically elected president, announcing on state television late Wednesday that they have put an end to the government over the African country's deteriorating security. The soldiers said all institutions had been suspended and security forces were managing the situation. The mutineers urged external partners not to interfere. The announcement came after a day of uncertainty as members of Niger's presidential guard surrounded the presidential palace and detained President Mohamed Bazoum. There was no immediate indication of whether the mutine was supported by other parts of the military. It was unclear where the president was at the time of the announcement or if he had resigned. The group, which is calling itself National Council for the Safeguarding of the Country, said it remained committed to its engagements with the international and the national community. Earlier Wednesday, a tweet from the account of Niger's presidency reported that members of the Elite Guard unit engaged in an anti-Republican demonstration and unsuccessful tried to obtain support from other security forces. It is said. Bazoum and his family were doing well, but that Niger's army and the National Guard are ready to attack if those involved in the action did not back down. The commissions of the African Union and the Economic Community of West African States described the events as an effort to unseat Bazoum, who was elected president two years ago in the national's first peaceful democratic transfer of power since its independence from France in 1960. Before the announcement, hundreds of people took to the streets of the capital, Niamey, 